Hey guys, I'm here today with my Lily Pulitzer for Target collaboration haul. Um, I'm filming this on Monday and I hope to get it up by this evening for you to watch. You probably, I don't know if you'll be able to find any of this stuff because as you know, if you're into the know with the collection, it was, it was like Black Friday. It was crazy. Um, it was insane. Luckily the store I went to in my area, there's only two Targets even kind of close. They're not even like super close to one another. And the Target I go to, um, I mean, it's a nice size. It's decent, but I live in Mississippi. It's not like, um, you know, the fashion mecca of the world. So usually on the Target collaboration days, I am one of the only people in the store looking at the stuff. When I went to the Philip Lim collection, I had forgotten about that. I wanted a purse. I got there at like 8.30. I was, me and one other lady were there. I could have gotten anything I wanted. The Masoni collection, um, I went there like midday and picked up like a few things. So it's not that hard in my area. So anyways, I woke up that morning at like 6.30. I'm planning to get there at 7.30 and I figured I'd be the only one there. And I got there and there were, I was probably like the 30th person in line. So I have to say I was really shocked. And then I was like, oh Lord, they're going to get it all, you know. Um, and I had screen captures of the things I wanted. I'd been researching. I let my daughter look through all the stuff and pick out what she wanted. I was just really excited. She has a few Lily Pulitzer dresses and they're adorable. I, I think I just have like one thing. Um, I have like a few accessories, like a huggy, a cup, maybe like a notebook, a scarf, you know, nothing hard. She's the only one that has clothes in the brand. Um, so anyways, I was really excited. I'm not like a super bright person, but I think her prints are just so colorful and they're Southern and anyways, so I was pretty excited. And I have to say the only thing that I wanted, like I really wanted that I didn't get were the little coffee cups and the little um, cylinder thing. And I even checked the stock at my Target today and it said they had one and I went and they didn't have it. So I do want that. And also the white eyelet shorts in a size small. If any of you see those, I will pay you for sure if you want to pick them up for me. So anyways, let's get started so you can find out what I picked up. So I had a plan of where I was going first. And I am able, I wear like a women's small, occasionally I get a medium. Um, and then in dresses, I wear like a two or something. So I can wear the Target Girls Extra Large. So I decided to go over there and pick up the maxi dress in the nosy posy print. And it's, can you see how it's like that banded um, fit up the top? And then the bottom, it kind of has like a ruffle right at the bottom. It feels, it actually feels nice. And the top, because it's this material and the straps are um, sizable, I'm not going to say I could use a large, but it's plenty of room. So I say I'm a size 2, so even if you were like a size 4, I think you could get away with wearing this. And if you ha didn't have a big bust, and especially if you were short, you could easily get away with it. Um, I mean, I wear... I mean, my boobs are very decent size for sure, and I could definitely wear it. So I'm very happy. This was my favorite purchase by far for me. Um, I just think it's going to be so fun in the summertime. It feels nice. It's not too long. If you're short like myself, I'm not even 5'1". Maxi dresses can be a pain in the you-know-what to get and be able to wear. So I'm happy about that. And then next up, I got me and my daughter... I love to do the mommy and me matching. I know some people think it's kind of weird or whatnot, but I think it's adorable. When I was little, I liked to match my mom. We didn't really do that. I think we might have matched once. I thought it would have been so much cuter. She, I don't know. So anyways, I picked us up these little shorts. I think this pattern is something like Finn. I don't know. I picked her up the little girl, size 5T. She actually had to wear them yesterday out and about because she fell in love with them. This little pom-poms on it. I didn't take her to the collab. She stayed in and slipped. Um, and then I got me the girls extra large. They didn't have this in the women's. And they fit me. I have muscular legs. So no shorts are ever like super loose on my legs. But they're not like overly fitted. But they're nice. And they feel the same material as the maxi dress. So I am happy with that. And then this... 
she doesn't need any dresses and this wasn't even on my list but once I saw it in the little girl section I couldn't resist the promo images online didn't do it justice I don't know if the lights are gonna mess with this this is just neon it's a it's a little shift dress the quality feels really nice um, I'm not gonna say it's as nice as the regular Lily stuff but it's very nice especially for the price points some of the stuff in this collection was less than Target's regular prices and I think they could have gotten away with charging more but it's so cute she about died when she saw it the back though it has a little gold exposed zipper with yellow but look at the zipper it is a pineapple after I picked this up for her I kind of wished I would have gotten it for me um it would have been really cute so if I see it laying around somewhere I may pick it up for me so that is super cute <laughs> and then also I was online like all through the night trying to check because I was thinking about picking up some things um, online and I wouldn't have to worry about it in the store so I did pick up me and her the little daughter the little girl jumpsuit and me the big girl I'm pulling it up on the website to show you what it looks like it's in the boom boom print I think that's the little toddler one and then the big girl is um it's not like fitted at the legs it's more flowy so i'm gonna get those in for online i don't know how that's gonna look on me i may be like uh-uh but i thought it's worth a shot because it just does look really cute and i've kind of been wanting a jumpsuit okay and that's all i got for clothing i did pick up this shirt the button-up shirt in the nosy posy print it felt kind of the material just felt cheap i just I knew I wouldn't be happy with it and I didn't really need a dress and a shirt in the same pattern so this other lady really wanted it we had talked earlier in the day and I hunted her down and gave it to her so she was very happy and then I did pick up the headband in that I thought it would be really cute in the summer with my dark hair um, I did like the other pattern a lot too but overall I just I loved this one so I got this I'm going to have to play around with it and see if I really want to keep it or whatnot. Because um, I have a small head and sometimes these are just a little big. I did pick up the nail file. <laughs> I just couldn't resist. It's in that pattern. It was only $2. My husband, he was kind of sad there was nothing for him. He's like a little kid, so I told him he could have this. And then I did... I went a little crazy with the nosy posy pattern. I did pick up the flip-flops in it. Um, a lady actually gave the, these to me out of her cart. By the time I hit the little girls, the big girls, I ran over to this section and got to the women. And this was like within five minutes of the store opening. The women's was cleared out. Like I found random racks throughout the store that workers were like restocking. I mean, they were constantly stocking within probably the first hour. Um, anyways, the women's was sold out. So a lady gave me these and... I thought they were cute. This was these were the ones I wanted. And she actually had a size seven she was giving away, and that's what I wear in flip-flops. And then this pattern, not pattern, everybody was going for that tote bag, the $15 one. But I wanted this one, and it was in the little girl section. It was 18. It was in the big girl section. And I just thought it would be really cute summer bag to take to play dates, the park, the picnic, um, we have like a picnic basket I like to take. The splash pad. I just thought it would be a fun little um, bag to take my daughter's stuff in. I can throw in my wallet and it's just kind of for me and her. And I don't know. I just like it. And I like rope bags. It's not big enough to be a beach bag. And the tote bag. The tote bag was just a little bit too big that I wouldn't have wanted to take it all the time. You know what I mean? Like this would fit a change of clothes, sunscreen, a pair of shoes, you know, just the stuff I need for that. I don't know. It just fit our lifestyle better. And then last but not least, when I was about to leave the store, I ran back to the home section and I did pretty much run. There was some running involved and everything was almost cleared out, but they were restocking some more stuff. And I picked up a beach towel. This was something I kind of debated on. I got it in this pattern. Um, there's not a picture of it throughout. It's the shells. It's like the light blue one. It doesn't have any pink in it. Because I always need to pick up new beach towels. Those are something that I think people swipe from you. 
and I just I don't know it's something I don't really like purchasing it's just one of those necessity unfun things but I mean if you have a nice beach towel and you keep up with it and stuff you keep it a really really long time and since they were in this fun print and they were so bright I decided to just go for it and get that so that is what I got I had gotten some birthday money my birthday was in March and I'd saved it all for the collaboration coming up because I thought it would be I could justify um picking up more things because part of me is like darling do I really need this much stuff that is all like this but I don't go buy Lily every day so I thought it was fun and I probably spent the same amount as I would for one Lily shirt so I wasn't going to let myself feel too bad because like I said the prices of the items were really reasonable the headband was eight dollars I mean the nail file was two these were sixteen so my maxi dress was like maybe 26 the shorts were 12 everything was I think really reasonably priced so anyways that is what I picked up if you picked up anything or you headed out and you have any crazy stories let me know down below um I did what else after seeing a few people's hauls and some of the stuff people picked up on Instagram I do kind of wish I had picked up the white and gold beach blanket it is really pretty the coffee cups the pineapple juicer I had in my hands and I decided I didn't need it that I don't need that but it was cute um the white eyelet shorts I do want and I think that's it yeah so I'm happy with what I got I got more than enough so anyways that is all I will let you guys go and I will see you later bye